We should check the rest of this floor for clues, Dollface. Try and find as many as you can. Are you even trying? It's a broken clock. Totally useless without the small hand. It's all about the birds and the bees, and how the birds... So nice to see you two working together again. True friendship is never- Okay, forget it. I'm going back to the office. Mr. Bear, I know you wouldn't let little miss wander around alone, now would you? Why? Is your exaggeration after her? Listen here, Mr. Bear. Little miss needs your help. Her brother is missing. Now, you clean yourself up, get your head straight, and help her out, or else. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Bear. Sure, gang up on me. Anyways, we should get going. I don't have all night. Let's head out. Watch my back, Ted. Unpacked stuff from our city apartment. Let's guess what's inside. I bet it's full of bouncing balls, sorted and packed neatly according to color, size, or bounceability. A random, generic asset place to occupy empty space. Let's pretend there's something inside. Like, like... A golden retriever puppy just for you, doll. Oh my god! Is it really? I can't... I want to. Can we take him out? I'm gonna call him Cookie and walk him every day and... Yeah, no, it was a joke. No one would put a live dog in a sealed box with no air holes. Dumb dumb. You're just so mean. A door that leads to the attic. No, really, that's all there is to it. It leads to the attic, hence the name, the attic door. Wait, it's locked. But why? This is mighty suspicious, doll. Wasn't there a hole in the study wall? You know, that one that you used to crawl through when you were younger. You're right, Snoop. Maybe I can still fit through. It's worth checking out. It's so dark in here, Ted. I can't see anything. The light is busted. We'll have to find a flashlight or something. Rust. Rust. Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. You know anything about the Yellow King? No, really. I guess they left the thing wide open. Like, open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. We've heard the city is in lockdown. Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. 
The official statement is that there was a gas leak down in the basement level. How'd you escape? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Um, what? He's saying he can do it. So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fellow? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, Bear. Mr. Deeds is a straight-up bird. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. He had got a little ear buzz is all. We've heard rumors about some red man. Know anything about that? I sure do. He's the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first. Gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. Couple of beaten up low lives here and there. It's a common trade with these guys, you know? Then, the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse. Try to corner this bird. No one heard from him since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figured I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy be going around asking about her? You know anything about this, doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Who's getting smart now? So, what kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he alright? He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy. And, like, totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's alright.